the team and I have come to Southeast Oklahoma. Most of Oklahoma is fairly flat. Down in the southeast corner, you have mountains, you have gullies, you have lakes. Sasquatches could definitely inhabit this area. It has everything they need. Just... We've come here to investigate a video that was gotten just outside of Beaver's Bend State Park. A couple of kids were shooting video of themselves. They noticed something in the background running through the trees. We got to go to that location and ask them a lot of questions about that incident. I knew eventually we'd have to come back to Oklahoma. The best place in Oklahoma is the southeast corner. There's a tremendous number of reports that continue to be generated in this particular area. There's even a local Bigfoot festival in one of the small towns nearby. Our previous expedition to Oklahoma yielded some very interesting evidence. I think it might be Sasquatch hair. It does not look like it's a human hair. But southeast Oklahoma is even more promising. It's mountainous, thickly wooded, there's bears around, there's even some mountain lions, lots of wildlife, and plenty of Bigfoots to go with it. This video is very interesting. I knew we had to come check it out, not just because of what you see, but what the circumstances were. These kids are doing a vi instructional video, how to make s'mores, cameras obviously on a tripod. And you just get it over there for a while, and you get it real close to the fire. Make sure not to touch the wood. Yeah, because then it'll be nasty. They don't seem to be aware of what's in the background. But this thing moves in the background, and I think it's upright. Well, whatever it is, it is fast. I don't think a person will be able to run that fast, not even Flash Bobo back there. You're greatly underestimating my speed and agility, Cliff. I've been known to do that before, Bobo. Matt, when was this video taken? It was taken the summer of 2011. And you know, I have seen videos before, hoax videos, where they've had some kids doing something innocuous in the foreground to position the camera so they can have something happen in the background. It very well could be a hoax, but it could also be a Sasquatch. When I first saw that video, so I was thinking, you know, probably hoax, looks like a, probably just a dude in a suit running in the background, you know, some kids and, just happened to have a camera pointed in the right direction. You factor in that this is just squatchy terrain. The most reports out of Oklahoma come from right around this area. I mean, there are squatches living here. They might have just got real lucky, hit the jackpot, and filmed one. This is interesting. You know, every once in a while, a little video clip comes out of southeast Oklahoma, and this is the latest, greatest one. It could be a Bigfoot. In fact, it's either a Bigfoot or somebody in a Bigfoot costume, but I think that's what we'll have to sauce out once we go check it out. The team and I are very excited to do this recreation and see if there's any possibility this is outside of the human realm. But my tuition says this video is a hoax. There's a Bigfoot shop just down the road and they even hold a Bigfoot festival nearby. So does the evidence create the myth, or does the myth create this so-called evidence? There's only one way to find out. Well, we saw this video, it looks real interesting. Obviously, there's something moving in the background, so run us through what happened. The boys decided they wanted to make a s'mores video, how to make s'mores. To find a hot zone. They set up the camera, did the video. Real close to the fire. Make sure not to And it was about two days later, when that's when he first noticed something. When you saw the video and you saw this thing moving in the background, what did you think it was? Of course I said, look, it's Bigfoot, because that's my first reaction. You know, I thought a bear, you know, that's just because for me, I don't think Bigfoot's that logical. What do you think wrong, kid? <laughs> we all agree it could be someone in a suit. We were just wondering if you guys were involved in it, but it doesn't seem like you are to us. Either it's a hoax, a misidentification, or a Sasquatch. And hopefully our recreation will shed a little bit of light on that. Well, let's go to the place where the video was taken. Yeah. That would help a lot. Yeah. Certainly by looking at the body language of the two children in the video, I'm not getting a sense that they're part of anything, any larger hoax or something going on. And now that I'm speaking to these gentlemen, I'm still not getting the idea that they're hoaxing us. Who knows though, I mean, liars are exceptional, weird sort of people. At this point though, I don't think that's what's going on. 
Oh. Okay. So no tripod, a barbecue instead. Yeah. yeah. Well, that tells me why they filmed it from this angle, because this is where the barbecue was to set it down if they didn't have a tripod. Get it over there for a while, and you get it real close it to It is the for sure biped, and it does a little jump at the end. That's looking squatchier and squatchier. That thing is awfully agile to be somebody in a costume. I'm starting to think that really is a squatch now. Yeah, this is encouraging. All right, well, I'm going to go back there and do a little run. Get your squatch on. Doing this recreation is a little bit complicated because it was gotten in summertime when all the foliage was up on the tree, and now we're at the opposite season where there's no foliage at all. But the grill hasn't changed, and the fire pit hasn't changed. Hopefully, we can get an accurate size comparison with Bobo in there, and we can determine how big and fast this thing really was. So if we can line up that diagonal tree with the one behind it, it's at approximately the same height as the figure's head. You guys ready? OK. Go for it. Still got it. I haven't seen him run that fast since somebody took his McNuggets. <laughs> this thing is just as big as you, maybe even a little bit bigger. And the most common denominator you hear about people talk about when they report seeing a Bigfoot, you know, jogging or running or even walking is the fluid stride. Not a lot of head bob. I look like a person running, or I look like a stud running. That thing looked a lot more fluid than me, and I'm fluid. Well, you know, after hanging out with you guys and seeing all this, I don't think you set that up. I've known guys that have done hoaxes, and they've gone back and forth till someone noticed them. And they go back and forth across a road, usually, right? right? Yeah, hoaxer's not going to hide behind a bunch of brush, either. Yeah, when you factor in, it was 114 that day, you said? You're not going to wear a gorilla suit on a 114-degree day, no matter what. We don't know it's a suit. It can be something big in dark clothing. But what it is is that a human can match that speed. It's not an inhuman height. But we know that this is somebody that is of human size. It's not too small, and it's not too big. There's no reason that that's not somebody in the background running through the wood line. There's other houses not too far back there. And what I, again, find unbelievable is how the guys are so adamant of what a hoaxer would or would not do, and how they think, and how they would plot and plan it out. But instead, it has to be a Bigfoot. If it's a Bigfoot, they're around here somewhere, and I think we should go poking around here tonight and see what we can kick up. It's cold, but we got to do it while we're here. I've wanted to go Bigfooting in southeast Oklahoma mm -hmm. for literally <laughs> years and years and years, man. And this is our opportunity. This video is very compelling, and in my opinion, it could very well be legitimate. Whether or not it's a hoax, we don't think the father or these kids were involved. And what makes it even more compelling, we know this area has Bigfoot sightings. We're not very far from Falk, Arkansas, where they had filmed The Legend of Boggy Creek. I've also led expeditions just to the north of here up in Hanobia, Oklahoma. So we know this area does have reports, so we're gonna go check it out tonight and do some investigating.